Did you did you think I would let this slip by without speaking on it? Did you think that I would let these occurrences occur without giving my two cents on it? Listen, man, it's your boy Godly Mind State. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here, man. I very much appreciate it. Now, if you're not familiar with this man right here, then you're not familiar with the most, in my opinion, the most powerful man in the NBA. Even though he's not a player in the NBA, he's very much a major player in the NBA, right? Then my guy Rich Paul, man. Rich Paul been is a ground shaker, innovator, and he changing the way that you know sport. He changing the way that the sports agent moves around, and he's stepping on a lot of toes, and he's cutting out a lot of big dollars for a lot of people that you know that's that's supposed to be esteemed people in 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 the uh free in the agency market. That a lot of these people that feel like they it's they they endowed with permission and it's 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 only right that they get to represent all of these players who they got nothing in common with besides wanting to uh get the biggest contract that they can get for them so they can get that, the biggest piece of that pie a bigger piece of the pie for themselves. So Rich Paul is 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 making a lot of people mad right now. A lot of people to the point that the NCAA slave slave university slave count slave institution the NCAA he 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 pissed the NCAA out so bad that they 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 wrote up a whole new law they wrote up a whole new rule and it says that uh. Amongst other things, what the, it says that in this rule, it says that in order for uh, you know how the kids can test out free, test out the market and see if they gonna get drafted, and if they not a high enough prospect that they can come back to college. Well, they saying that if you don't have a college degree. Then you can't be a, a represent a representative of those kids who who making that decision. And the reason that they the reason that it's other shit that they got wrote in there, but they wrote all that other shit just to say that you can't have no college degree for the simple fact that this man Rich Paul don't have a college degree. But like I stated previously, he the biggest name. He the biggest name in the NBA that's not an NBA player called. What people, what 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 players have 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 come to realize that if you're doing business with rich, then you bound to get wealthy. You know, you bound to be wealthy for life, and you bound to be have more control over your career and your destination and your future. Yes. Rich Paul is such a powerful man that he empowering these giants, mega men. Look at Rich Paul probably be he matter of fact, I know he's smaller than I am. But he he empowering these great men, these great athletes to take control of their own destiny. And that's why the NCAA got so much, you know, animosity and vitriol toward this man that they could even see what happened if you ain't up on it. Last year, it's a, it was a dude. Last year, I forget his first name, but his last name is 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 Baisley, I think. And what what happened with this guy is he got he he got tied up with Rich Paul. What a great fucking decision he made! Great fucking decision. But he got tied up with Rich Paul, and and and, and throughout throughout the uh. Mutual respect relationship that they had with one one another for Rich Paul seeing this young man going through a phase in life that uh, and an age in life that he'd been through before, and he went through it hand in hand with LeBron James for his transitioning from a uh, amateur to a pro. He's seen all of this before, 
numerous times now because like i told you he the best he the best agent in, in the game so he's seen it numerous times and he convinced the young man basically to forego his opportunity to go and grace the ncaa with his basketball acquiesce for uh for free he he he, he got him to skip college and get a uh an internship with New Balance, right? But the smooth part about that, and if you the NCAA, the sickening part about that was for his internship with New Balance, he got a million dollars out of the deal. Not Rich Paul, the player. So it go back to empowering the player every time with Rich Paul. Of course he lining his pockets. Of course. Of course he getting that percentage. But at the end of the day, it ain't no snake percentage. It ain't it ain't it ain't that greasy type of percentage that, you know, the players been used to getting that started from from they uh from the usual suspects. From all the usual suspects who who been getting a chance to uh have their hands on the players' careers. And at, at this point, if I'm a if I'm any player that don't have an agent in any sport, huh? Understand what I'm telling you. Understand what I'm saying to you. If I was a baseball player, contract year, soccer player, NFL player, a motherfucking swimmer, a ten a tennis player, any any player that need representation, why would you go to anybody but Rich Paul? For the simple fact, I stated this in plenty, plenty of videos. If the devil take time to go out of his way to come and make a personal attack that's uh customized just for you, you got to be on the right track. Excuse me, you got to be on the right track. You got to be in doing something that's that's prophetic. Huh? So I understand. I fucking understand why the NCAA implemented the rule against that man because he made their credibility already take a shot or three or 13 shots every year. Their credibility going down every year. They got motherfucking coaches who know about girls getting raped, who don't give a damn about that shit and all type of shit is fucked up with the NCAA. Not to mention that they making billions of dollars off these kids back and won't even get them an extra sandwich to eat at night. They just got it where the kids can eat all they want. And that's supposed to uh be, you know, that's supposed to be major, a major benefit for the kids. And when they making you a billion dollars, of course he should eat what the fuck he want. And he should get his motherfucking cut out of that check. So Rich Paul is empowering these kids and that's what the big fuss that's what the big hoop lie is about. He giving these he giving he giving these kids chances to set their lives straight in a in a uh, positive direction and change the lives of their families. Okay, but let, and another thing, what the NCAA, what another thing, what they doing is. They trying. They want to cut the kids off from Rich Paul because they don't want them to soak up all that knowledge and self awareness and self worth. They don't want. Him, they don't want them to get all that vital information that he oozing with. Man, this man is a plethora of knowledge, strength, wealth, and empowerment. He epitomizes all of that stuff. At a, on a six foot, goddamn one sixty five frame, maybe more. From this picture right here, he looks six foot 165. I don't fucking know. But he the man. Rich Paul is the man, bro. And that's why the NCAA hate him. And that's why they made the Rich Paul rule. But Brun Brun tweeted out. Brun Brun had a tweet. He said they big mad, but it ain't no way to stop this shit. And I know they scared. And I might have misquoted the tweet, but he said a lot of that similar shit. Maybe not in the same order because it's true. They scared. They scared of the power that this man represent. They scared of what this man represent. Black empowerment. And that's the only reason why I would do a story like this on my channel. Because you know, I, I, 
I don't do entertainment news. You know, the only reason I would cover this is because it's about black empowerment. And at the end of the day, if you want to know my code name for the NCAA, just look at one of my other videos. I ain't even gonna say I ain't even gonna say who who the, who the NCAA really is and who they really ran by. Cause if you listen to me all the time, if you my people, if you <laughs> you know who the fuck you know who they you know who the NCAA you know who they really are you know what their real name is. I just don't feel like saying it on this this video, okay? But anyway, man, I'm done. I'm just proud of Rich Paul for getting on them motherfucking nerves so bad that they made a law and a rule about it. That major shit. You know, I thought I was on my shit the other day when they took my video down on YouTube when I wasn't doing nothing but telling the truth. So long as you're a truth teller, long as you promote the truth, you know the devil gonna come at you. That's that's uh with any aspect of life that you're living in, man. So let you know. Let, let, let's let like some of us some of us just need to start embodying the spirit of Rich Paul and let you know let's let's take our power back. But anyway, it's your boy, man, Godly Mind State. I, I I said enough and I did enough. Like, subscribe, share my shit.